Hello everyone and welcome to Cinderful Gaming. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all staying safe, and most of all, I hope you're all fighting that war against the grey. Today's video is a Black Library review. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at one of the many publications brought out by Black Library and giving you our thoughts on the book audio drama whatever it happens to be now i will say that we will try to keep this review to as spoiler free as possible though there will obviously be points where we talk about things happening in the book we will try to keep away from saying any of the major plot points so you can go and read this book for yourself we'll just give you our thoughts on whether or not we think it is something you may be interested in so we'll use this video to instruct you on maybe is this sort of going to be a book that you would like to see with that all said and out the way let's get cracking on let's talk a little bit about the book that we have reviewed this time in today's Black Library review, we're going to be checking out Brotherhood of the Storm by Chris Wright. Uh, as always, I like to listen to the audio versions while I'm doing some painting, some other hobby, or doing some editing on the computer. Uh, it's always nice to have one on in the background. This one is narrated in the audio version by Winston Leong and Penelope Rawlins, both taking on the two aspects uh, of the different characters. We've got Penelope Rawlins giving the female aspect, and a lot of the male White Scars characters all being done by Winston Leong. And so our story, as word of Horus's treachery spreads to fully half of the Legionis Astartes, Terra looks to the remaining Loyalist Space Marines to defend the Imperium. One of these such groups, though, however, remains curiously silent in spite of apparent efforts from both sides to contact them. The storied Fifth Legion, Jagada Khan's fearsome white scars... Now, in the orc-held territory of Chondax, a bitter war has been raging since the triumph of Ulanor between the White Scars and the Orcs. And only now, at this very time of Horus' treachery sort of spreading across the legions, uh, does the Sons of Chagoris return their gaze to the heavens. And so, this story's purpose. This is the introduction of the White Scars to the Horus Heresy. Originally, this story was released a long, long time ago as one of the limited edition stories that Black Library were putting out for the Horus Heresy. I've actually got this one in a physical copy somewhere in the room. Um, but this sort of story explained why the White Scars hadn't featured in the Horus Heresy story to that point. While the majority of them, you know, were just not a part of it. Uh, sort of showing that they're off on Chondax or on off this thing, long campaign pain war and they just were notoriously hard to sort of control and uh, even you know resupply and stuff like that uh, this though story really is the start of them you know taking part in the heresy properly this sort of leads up to other stories that are in the heresy later about the white scars um, and brings them into the fold and brings them into the storyline going forward and so our main characters, I think the story is split between uh, three main characters within the story. Uh, probably the first one here in Torgan Khan. Uh, he is a White Scars captain or Khan, uh, leading you know the fight on Chondax. He's been joined by uh, another one of the Khans, Shiban Khan, who is an actual Terran, uh, unlike him being a son of Chagoris, uh, in sort of their assault upon the orc held territories. Now, the other part of the story, we have Ilya Revillian and Takata Yasugi. Uh, Takata Yasugi is a Stormseer of the White Scars, and Ilya Revillian is a Departmento Ministorum uh, organizer. She's trying to, you know, make sure the White Scars are sort of connected to the rest of the Imperium and make sure they are easy to find. And she sort of seeks an Imperium, a, um, I guess, a talk with. Jagada Khan himself to try and organize uh, some things with the White Scars and make sure you know they are sort of kept on the side of the Imperium. What changes about these main characters over the course of the story? Honestly, not a lot, uh, especially not for Ilya or Tagatai. Not a lot changes about them. Their whole story is sort of, you know, introducing the White Scars and Jagada in that point. Uh, Torgan Khan, though, he sort of has his differences with Shiban Khan throughout the story, and the two of them really sort of blend their ideologies together and it's a really interesting sort of story at the end of them um them sort of coming together probably like brothers despite you know being terran born and chagorin born white scars what does this book do well for the white scars and you know this is a relatively short story it's only about four and a half hours long um you know it is a novella more than anything more than an actual novel uh, but this shows us that the white scars they're not disorganized on purpose they're not 
you know, just rabble. They are, in, you know, this disorganization, what it might seem from the outside, when you get inside, you do see uh, that it is, you know, part of the key way of war philosophy, you know, to have an ever moving center. The center point is forever moving from them. So they're forever elusive and forever, you know, on the move. And this book really does do a good point of, you know, showing that they, they're not savages. They're not the space wolves. And apparently, you know, you hear throughout the story, do not say anything that they are like the space wolves because apparently they take great offense to it. And so who would like this book? I think that's pretty simple in all honesty. White Scars fans, this is for you. This is the introduction of them into the Horus Heresy. If you're wanting to get the first look at them in the Horus Heresy, if it's something you've recently started, or even wanting to know, you know, maybe a little bit of that sort of look into them before you get to a story in the Heresy series that really does involve them properly, then this is the one for you. And so, in summary, this is short and interesting. It definitely brings, you know, the White Scars into the universe. I think, for me, this definitely sort of lost a bit of the impact. Now I have read deeper into the Heresy series. You know, I've not read everything up to date of the Heresy, but I've, you know, read about White Scars and the Heresy more now, reading the novels like Scars. Um, but when this, you've got to remember, when this first came out, there were no White Scars in the Heresy at all. They hadn't featured. You'd barely got a mention of them at all in any story to that point. Uh, so I think, you know, when this came out, this probably would have been a 6 out of 10. Uh, nowadays, it's more a 4 out of 10. If you are interested in White Scars, though, it's a cool little look. It's quick read or listen. Um, certainly worth going and picking up. I think a 4 out of 10 is fine uh, for where it's at. You know, it's it's short. It doesn't really have any maybe conjoining storyline. Um, but, you know, when this came out, this was certainly like a 6 or 7 out of 10, I feel. If you have read Brotherhood of the Storm, let us know what you thought about it down in the comments below. And so that's the end of the video. We hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, why don't you drop a comment down below letting us know what you enjoyed about the video. If you'd like to come chat more with me and other members of our little community here at Sinful Gaming, you can do so by joining our Discord server, which is linked down in the video's description. Also linked down in the video's description are the best ways to help support the channel, which is our Patreon and YouTube members. As a Patreon and YouTube members, you'll get to help decide what content the channel focuses on when we're not focusing on new releases, and you'll also get your name shouted out at the end of the video. So a special thanks to all our Patreons, Christian Weir, Soren, Kenny Lyle, Alder and Shot First, Andrew Bowen, Nathan Fee, The Rising Ape, Cure Dynamic, Anthony B, JJ Austrian, Average Wargamer, Domia, Mark Harvey, James Cater, Bloobs, Benjamin Suarez, Redman, Aaron DeHaven, and Kevin Bowman. And to our YouTube members as well, Green Roots Gaming, Kenton Young, Ronya, Lock Lark, The Johnny84, David Ellsworth, Wolfric Nick, Broken Chef, Ariana Edwards, Revenar, Pink Nico Fire, Robin Man Killer, Monty's Tabletop Terrain, John Castle, Davis Weir, and James South. Lastly, if you'd also like to help support the channel in another way, you can do so by grabbing some channel merch off either our Teespring store or off our Kofi store, both of which, as well as the Patreon and YouTube members, are linked in the video's description. Once again, thank you all for watching. Stay safe, everyone. Stay well. And most of all, keep fighting that war against the grey. Ciao for now.